Hi again. I'm back with more Mega Man. We're doing Mega Man 1, or Rokuman, this afternoon. I'm going to do a full playthrough of this game. I believe this game came out in 1987. Uh, first in Japan, then in the States. Uh, I don't know where to begin. I guess I'll begin just with the game. Uh, let's see how this works out. Perfect. Okay, good. Okay, uh, thank you, Adam, for giving me the opportunity. Let's start. This is... If anybody if anybody has trouble hearing the game over my voice or something, let me know. Or if the sound sounds great, also let me know. Um, this used to be one of the hardest Mega Man games for me to beat, for me to play. Uh, no energy cans, uh, no passwords. The game is relatively short, so I'm gonna try and blow through, blow through it. Hold on. There's a bit of a lag. See if I can. Shouldn't be too bad. Maybe. Shouldn't be too bad. If it gets distracting, I'll save state and, and uh, fix that. So as I was mentioning, this uh, this was this used to be very very difficult for me to play. <laughs> it's going to continue to be very difficult for me to play if I don't have if I don't have accurate controls. <laughs> Give me just a second, let me see. Let me think. Ah, that's, that's pretty good. Okay. Let's work with what we got. Come on. Come on, there we go. So, <coughs> I got my copy of this years and years ago. There was a video store in North Miami called Bob Rich Video and Games. And it was run by a guy who knew how to fix VCRs and such, named Bob Rich. And it was a it was a VH they had a bunch of VHS tapes on uh for rent and stuff. And it was it was sort of like a like a you know, like a mom and pop's blockbuster. And um at one point, it was probably during the the console, the, the transition between the uh, six, the eight-bit and sixteen-bit consoles. It was in the, it was in the mid '90s. Um, they were selling all of their NES games to make room for the Super Nintendo games and such. I'm not sure if he had Genesis games. I was never interested in Genesis games as a kid. Ah, poopy. Oh, all right. I forgot. I can't do the, the pause and. <laughs> ah, I can't do the pause and whoop kind of thing that I did in Mega Man 2. Yeah, this the the physics in this game feel a lot heavier than they did in uh, than they do in the later Mega Man games. There are, there's a lot less room for error. There's a lot less margin, much smaller margin for error. Even so, once I found out how to get past certain bosses and. Uh, I remember I play, I went to, once I found out how to get past certain bosses, um, the game became very, very easy for me to play. I remember uh, when I got Mega Man Anniversary Collection for the GameCube, uh, <laughs> I played the snot out of this one because I could beat it so quickly. I got a lot of practice, and um, I used to do I used to do like personal speedruns. I never recorded anything. This is the first time I'm recording myself playing the game, which that first death was terrible, but. Hopefully I'll be able to breeze through the rest of it. Ah, that was awful. So this is a pseudo speed run. I'm gonna try and and not not for the sake necessarily of doing a speed run, but just because I'm short on time. <laughs> this this was sort of a last minute thing. I wasn't anticipating a lot of things today actually. I went for an oil change for my car, and uh, it took longer than I had anticipated. Tonight, Sarah's not doing game night with her fr well, with our friends, 
Uh, so she's gonna be home soon, and I thought, what game can I play really quickly that, you know, that would be good and popular and... Well, I don't know about popular, because... I don't know, everybody seemed... Well, not everybody, but yeah, my Mega Man 2 run seemed to be popular from what people tell me, so I thought, why not do Mega Man 1? Ah. That was awful. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to try and breeze through this as quickly as I can. <coughs> so, a lot of stuff... Come on. <laughs> was awful. A lot of stuff in this game... Like, it, it's, it's sort of like a par for the course for a lot of early NES games. Like, the, the first... The first in a series always has a lot of quirks that, for the most part, are ironed out. And, uh, the, you know, the, the quality of life, so to speak, of the games get better as time goes on. The, the life, the life pellets in this game look completely different. It's the only Mega Man game with a score that I know of. Uh, I think it is the only Mega Man game with a score. Little hamburgers. I always thought those things looked like hamburgers. Come on. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Um, no energy cans, as I mentioned. No rush. No special item like item 2. Or item 1 or item 3 in Mega Man 2. And another thing is... A lot of the bosses, a lot of the robot masters, only take a handful of hits to kill. Which, they kept that for Mega Man... For Mega Man 2. <coughs> like Metal Man you can Metal Man you can kill in two hits. Uh Woodman you can kill in three hits. Airman in four, stuff like that. But uh that that was done away with after Mega Man 2. Um Mega Man 3 they started making the bosses harder. But um this stage. I was like the music in this. I was like the music in uh, Electron stage. Um. Okay, good. I'm streaming. I was like, oh gosh, did I click the streaming button? <laughs> did I click the start streaming button? Um. But yeah, I I I, I was uh. I was I learned to do them in a specific order. It's guts man. Cut Man, Elect Man, Ice Man, Fire Man, Bomb Man. I used to do Bomb Man first, but I learned that you can get through his stage a whole lot quicker with everybody else's weapons, and the only reason you beat Bomb Man. Poopy. <laughs> I'm gonna try and do this the speedrunner way. It's very hard, and I don't usually succeed, but let's find out. Um, but, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, this is the, since it's the only game with the score there, these little pellets that some, um, that some enemies drop that are color-coded to each stage. And, uh, this is the only game where those things appear, of course, because their only purpose is to give you a higher score. Um, I've never done something where I try to do, like, a score attack kind of thing. Ooh. But I have done a lot of speed runs. I managed... Oh gosh, when I was like 15, 16... Come on, don't lag on me. When I was like 15 or 16, uh, I used to be able to get through this game in about... In about 25 minutes. Which, if I remember correctly, the world record is 22.58. So, I once had aspirations of uh of surpassing that trouble is i could never ever ever get past the final wily stage without dying once um that that was always the uh the knife in the back of my speed runs <coughs> i was able to breeze through the whole rest of the game just fine until 
the final Wily stage because there's a ah. there's also something the world record on speed demos archive ah. Ah, does some really neat things with the M with the M power especially right here uh, like they they shave off a few they shave off probably what amounts to a few seconds here um, by using the M oh, by using the M ability which I've never been daring enough to do and I've never had enough practice to do effectively well come on okay Ugh. three hits just three one two three. Oh, with one cracker left <laughs> Andrew how many crackers does it take to beat a lek man uh, I think I made the not, not a joke but um, sort of a thing that became a uh, like a, a personal meme among friends uh, when I played Mega Man 2 I, I played um, there was one I think there was one point where I was I think I was fighting bubble man and I beat him. What am I doing? I beat him with uh, with one little line of energy left. And I mentioned that when I was little, Mega Man's life bar looked like a package of saltines to me. Saltine crackers. And um, so when I was little, it I always. You know, I always refer when I, not, I I I don't remember if I referred to them as crackers, but I always thought of them as saltine crackers. Uh, so whenever I beat a boss with with only one bar of life left, I I beat the boss with one cracker left. Now this is gonna be tricky. Poopy. Okay, I gotta preserve that. Conserve that. These freaking things. Oh boy. Yay. Okay. Never get that for your life. Oh well. Don't need that one. Iceman is in just the next room. Okay. Gotta shoot these and things. Three hits. That is all. next. He's always the hardest. <coughs> always the hardest. He's so foofin' fast. Frickin' fast. Bloody fast. His stage is really cool, though. not high enough. Poopy. A lot of this stuff, 
a lot of like ways that I've oh that that didn't work out well. A lot of ways that I've found to get around like certain parts of certain stages. Okay, this is the part where Ha. Huh. This is a glitch that I've never seen and that's a glitch that I've never seen anybody exploit. That's why I thought that if I ever if I ever try to do like a full really serious speed run, I would be able to beat the world record because of that particular glitch. And I know of nobody else who knows about it. I mean, the, the, the world record doesn't exploit that glitch, so I figured, hey, if he doesn't do that, he doesn't know about it. Um, but now everybody knows about it because it's online! Oh well! Oh no! Oh well. But I mean, maybe nobody will find out. Not that I'm wishing that this channel, you know, have fewer viewers or anything like that. It's just, it'd be nice if I made a world record speedrun. Okay. From what I remember, according to Mega Man Cannon, Fireman has two busters. One in each arm. I don't even know what that said. And that's why he's able to shoot so quickly. Um Anyway. So I never understood exactly I never understood Bomb Man's design. Uh, he's got a mohawk and a really big, black, bulky body. And I remember years ago, I finally figured it out. He's supposed to be shaped like a hand grenade. And the mohawk, uh, his, his, his mohawk, or his mohawk, ah, frickin' is supposed to be um, the, the handle that you pull to pull the pin in the, uh, in the hand grenade. Why he's got, like, a beak? I don't know. It's like, in all of the artwork, he's got a sort of a pointed mouth. Oh, uh, let's see. Mega Man lore. Okay, so this guy. This freaking guy. This this freaking wall with a gun. He's called Sniper Joe. And I was thinking about it last... I think it was last night? Maybe it was last night? This is the kind of thing I think about in my spare time. Whenever I get... Oh, thank goodness. Whenever I get that. And, uh, and not in my spare time, too. Sometimes I'm doing something like for work or something, and I'm just thinking about Mega Man stuff or video game stuff. Um... I was thinking about how Proto Man's design, and this is canon. Ah, that was awful. That was awful. That's another part we're using M, um, like where the speedrunners use it, but I'm not very good at it. Frick! That's another thing. Oh, okay, cool. They start me right back here. That's nice. That's very kind of them. Um, in Mega Man 1, unlike in the later games, they were, they were very merciful in the later games. Uh, if you... Okay, in Mega Man 2 and forward, if you get hit with... If you get hit, you have a, you have a momentary... Momentary, like... Uh, momentary, what am, I, what am I trying to say? Momentary... Get out of my way. Um, a momentary pause, I suppose. What am I getting? Oh yeah, fire. Where uh, Mega Man is invincible <coughs> to anything, including spikes. So if you get knocked into a spike pit, there's a chance of getting back up. However, 
in Mega Man 1, they don't do that. Uh, and I, I suppose it's just something they decided to, to, you know, they decided against putting into the second into the second game. I don't know if they just didn't know how to program it so that he didn't get killed by spikes. Probably did, but um, but yeah, they they, they in this game, no matter what, you touch a spike, you're dead. <laughs> Even if you get hit, even if even during that moment of uh, of uh, of invincibility, I always wondered how Doctor Rather was able to fit into that. I, I suppose he sits down as the thing closes over him. Oh wait! Ha! Ha 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 ha! One more. Okay. So yeah, as I mentioned, all this stuff. All, most of this stuff I learned, uh, like the way that I'm going through these stages so easily, I learned that from watching uh, speedruns or a particular speedrun. Uh, it's the tw I don't know if I don't know if I don't know if anybody's ever beaten it. Um, oh, frick. Oof. On uh, speed demos archive. This is a tricky one. Hey hey, I got it. Man, I'm nailing all the stuff that I never get! <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, frick. Okay. I'm sorry I'm not talking much this run. Oh, boy. I remember my, my dad never wanted to play this one because he thought it was too hard. Oh man, I've only got one life left. Heaven help me. Uh, what do I do? Uh, let me try and do this. Oh, that works. I never thought to do that. Okay, here comes the hard part. If I'm gonna die, it's gonna be at this point. Frick. Oh, waifu's home. I can hear her opening the door. Okay. ay -ya. Hi! I'm sorry, I thought that I could finish a speedrun of Mega Man 1 before you came home. I'm almost done, though. Give me about, like, 15 more minutes. Well... I said I'm trying to finish up a speedrun of Mega Man 1. Yes, give me about 15 more minutes. We'll be done around 6.20. I thought I, I thought I could finish it before you got home, but I guess not. This frickin' thing. I was, I was hoping for a, I was hoping for a, for a no hit. Let's see. Now this is also really interesting. This is the only come on. This is the only 
besides Mega Man X, which they did this again in Mega Man X, which I thought I think is really cool. Uh, this is the only Mega Man game that I know of where you don't get like you don't get uh, teleported into rooms to fight every one of the Robot Masters. Two of them, Cutman and Electman, as you saw, you fight in the middle of a stage. Which again, they did that in Mega Man X. Um, you fight Boomer Kowanger in. In the first stage in Sigma's castle, Sigma's fortress. Ah. Oh, that's not nice. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then you fight Storm Eagle and I think Chill Penguin. Uh, in the second stage. I know there are a few. There are a few other. Uh, it's been a while since I played Mega Man X. Mm. Trying to remember if I need anything else. Get this, because I need. Okay. I'm gonna need that for the next boss. Sorry, guys. Um, I always thought this was really cool. They bring th this kind of idea back from Mega Man 3. Uh, the third the third boss that you fight is sort of a triple teleport system. Ugh, poopy. Get away. Get away. to this and that I run out of electric. Just gotta use the buster, I guess. <laughs> I may get a game over for the first time in a long time in Mega Man 1. <laughs> Yeah, wow, okay. It's been a long while. I'm rusty. Okay. Since I have plenty of this, I may as well. Come on. I'm so ashamed of myself. Getting a game over in Mega Man 1 on the internet, of all places. Goodness. I could stand it in my own bedroom. <laughs> I could stand it in my own game room. I could stand it in my teenage... Well, maybe not in my teenage bedroom. I mean, that, that would be that would be shameful. But on, on the internet? Good heavens. Heaven help me. Oh, come on.
don't need you anymore. <laughs> Point into the... the... one up. Make it about another 20 minutes. <laughs> knowing what a reproduction cartridge was, or that they're illegal, but, uh, uh, when I found out, I just destroyed the copy that I had, because it was illegitimate. Those things just dilute the market. They're awful. Awful things. Ah, poopy! Okay. This boss is kind of fun. You gotta be like the first three or four of them with just the buster. Ow. It, like two weeks ago, and it came in today, and I'm, I was I've been very very excited. Like I watched, I watched it come. <laughs> I always like went to eBay to look up the when it's coming in. Wow, that was the quickest I've ever done that. Okay, so Ugh, that's low. It's easier to get through this part of the game. Now, I have, a, I have a personal sort of fan theory. Note all the Gutsman copies that are up yonder. Canonically, it, is, it, is, it has been... I believe it's canon that Gutsman is Dr. Wily's favorite robot master. And there are several, uh, several iterations of Gutsman throughout the series. We see him again as the Guts Tank in Mega Man 2, which y'all saw last time I played a Mega Man game. And we see him in Mega Man 7. Um, I gotta wait for that freaking thing to come back. Um, we see him in Mega Man 7. Uh, in fact, uh, Dr. Riley steals him in Mega Man 7. But my personal theory is... I forget who's first. Oh, gosh, I forget who's first. <sighs> Let's just go with the buster. My personal theory is uh, is that Dr. Wally was sort of just mass-producing Gutsman. Um, 
and the later iterations are based on those mass productions. Come on. Yeesh. Frick, I'm not gonna make it. That was awful. It's always awful to fight him. Come on. And Guts Man. This one's hard. Don't get don't you Don't you freaking Ah. Oh. See, this is what makes the last stage so difficult. You have to fight all of the Robot Masters. Not all, well, okay. You have to fight four of the Robot Masters, four of the tougher Robot Masters, without dying. Then, you have to fight Dr. Wily, without dying. And you don't get any energy in between. Except for weapon energy, but that doesn't help you. <laughs> Well, it kind of does, but it's not what you need. Come on. Oh, boy. Oh, I thought it was two. It's only one? Frick. That's really hard to see. <laughs> the emulator doesn't emulate this very well. better on a console. No, stop. Okay. Come on, shoot me. I can't even see what he's firing. Simulator's awful. And for anybody who's gonna say, you like to blame the emulator, but you see, you think you're just not that good. You know, no, it's it's like, you, normally you should be able to see what your opponent is firing at you. And that's how it is on console. Like, whatever console you play it on, I don't know what's wrong with the emulator. Maybe I should have tried a different emulator. Oh well. for showing me what I'm being hit by. Come on. Okay, there you go. There's Mega Man 1. <sighs> no, Wily, I refuse your advances. <laughs> so, yeah. There's, uh, there's Mega Man 1. wasn't as dramatic, I think, as my run of Mega Man 2, but oh well. 200,000 points! Oh, plus 2,000. Yay. 202,000 points. Incidentally, they used this music for the intro of Mega Man 2. <clears throat> Mega Man has ended the evil domination of Dr. Wily and restored the world to peace. However, the never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated. I like how the trees are cut off in the background. I just noticed that. Fight Mega Man for everlasting peace. 
Yeah, I never noticed that before. The 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 tile for the trees is cut off. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> oh my. It looks like it's cut off anyway. Anyway. Um Okay, so I finished it sooner than I thought. Well, about this, about as long as I thought it would take. 6:20. Good heavens. Is that Dr. Light flashing on the screen? I always thought this was really cool. I, I never, I, I very rarely got to see this as a kid. I only started seeing this frequently when I was a teenager. And I was able to blow through the game, like when he turns into rock again. Um, cause, cause, yeah, he takes off his armor. Which we get some, again, we get something a bit more dr dramatic in Mega Man 2. But, uh, but yeah. I always like this little sequence. He looks like a soccer player. He looks like the like kind of like the soccer players in the the Kunio Kun games. So anyway, um, there's a very rare uh, image of of roll. So yeah, and then it just loops back to the the stage select screen. I don't know why there's a comma there. Anyway, so that's Mega Man One. I hope you all enjoyed that. Please follow us on Twitter, on Facebook. Please, well, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, subscribe to us on Twitch. And please also subscribe to the Press Continue podcast on Pinecast. I am Sterling, also known as Sonus Silver. I make chip music. Um, I have a SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash S-O-N-U-S-I-L-V-E-R. Uh, please listen to my music, and if you're in South Florida, come to my shows. I'll try and announce them whenever I do them. Um, and yeah, please continue to watch. Check us out uh, every day of the week, uh, I believe except for Sunday when we do reruns or Monday, something like that. Uh, I'm here every Friday, barring uh, unusual circumstances. And yeah, thank you all very, very much for watching, and have a wonderful evening. Good night.